we want to find the intersection of the plane 2x minus 8y plus z equals negative 77 and the line given by the vector value function r of t. Let's first write the parametric equations for the line given by r of t. Notice how x or x of t is equal to negative 1 times t plus negative 1 or just negative t minus 1. y of t is equal to 2t plus 6 and z of t is equal to negative 6t plus negative 3, or negative 6t minus 3. Now before we find the point of intersection, let's look at this graphically. So here we see the graph of the plane, as well as the graph of the line. We're looking for the point of intersection, which is this red point here, where the plane and the line intersect. To do this, we'll substitute the equations for x, y, and z into the equation for the plane. This will allow us to determine the value of t that corresponds to the point of intersection. And then we'll use the parametric equations to determine the coordinates of the point. So we'll form an equation that contains one variable by substituting negative t minus 1 for x, 2t plus 6 for y, and negative 6 minus 3 for z. This will give us an equation that we could then solve for t. So performing the substitution, 2x would be 2 times the quantity negative t minus 1, minus 8y would be minus 8 times 2t plus 6, and plus z would be plus the quantity negative 6t minus 3 and this is equal to negative 77. And now we'll distribute and solve for t. So here we'll distribute 2, here we'll distribute negative 8, and here we can think of distributing positive 1 if it's helpful. So we'll have negative 2t minus 2 minus 16t minus 48, and then minus 6t minus 3 equals negative 77. Combining the like terms, or the combining like terms, negative 2t minus 16t minus 6t is equal to negative 24t. So we have negative 24t, and then negative 2 minus 48 minus 3 is equal to negative 53. So we have minus 53 equals negative 77. Adding 53 to both sides, we'd have negative 24t equals negative 24. Dividing both sides by negative 24, we get t equals positive 1. So now if we substitute 1 for t into our equations for x, y, and z, we can determine the point of intersection. So x of 1 is equal to negative 1 minus 1, which equals negative 2. y of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 6, which equals 8. And z of 1 is equal to negative 6 times 1 minus 3, which equals negative 9. Which means the point of intersection is the point negative 2, comma, 8, comma, negative 9. So going back to our graph, we just found the coordinates of this red point here, which is the intersection point of the line and the plane. I hope you found this helpful.